In at number 10, Hilaria Baldwin. 2021 started off with maybe the strangest scandal ever surrounding Hilaria Baldwin's background. After a long string of events, it was revealed that Hilaria Baldwin is not actually Spanish like she claims, and in fact her name isn't even Hilaria, it's just Hillary. And it seems that she put on this fake Spanish persona to be more interesting and unique in the media. It was also revealed that her Spanish accent is most definitely a lie too, because neither of her parents have an accent. As Twitter began searching for the truth, it emerged that she was, in fact, actually born and raised as Hillary, not Hilaria in Massachusetts, and her roots are American from many generations back. But then in interviews, she claimed she moved here from Spain to go to NYU, a complete lie. In response, Hilaria addressed the situation saying she was raised with two cultures, but she never actually commented on why she lied, although she did later admit she is just a white girl. And then number 10, Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer's horrific behavior was not only brought to light in the media, but it was also the inspiration behind the hit Apple show, The Morning Show. This was all brought to light on November 29th of 2017, when news anchors Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotob delivered a live message to viewers, revealing there had been a serious complaint against Matt Lauer from someone in the company, so he would no longer be appearing as the host of the show until it was sorted out. They complained about alleged inappropriate sexual behavior, and apparently there was reason for NBC to believe it was not an isolated incident. After this was exposed, two more women came came forward with similar allegations against Lauer. It was later exposed that he was fired from NBC the morning of the infamous announcement, the same day Variety released an explosive piece on the allegations. As of now, he is blacklisted from the industry and will not be appearing on TV anytime soon. At number 10, Justin Bieber. You never know where you're going to meet your next crush. A lot of the time we come across people online who we think are cute and want to shoot our shot. Well, this happened with Justin Bieber in kind of a weird way. It started with nutrition and fitness coach Jessica Gober and her suggestion that the gym she worked for start posting on their Instagram more to get some more traction to their business. Well, Jessie's suggestion worked very well, but instead of attracting business, she attracted love. The gym posted a boomerang of Jessie holding an energy drink, and somehow this post was circulated around enough that it caught the attention of Justin Bieber. Since Jessica wasn't tagged in the post, Justin actually ended up DMing the gym's account asking who the girl in the post was. Jessica found out about this and posted screenshots of the message to her Twitter. Some people came for her saying that she could have become something special to Justin, but she clapped back by posting pictures of her boyfriend saying, quote, I've got everything I need right here. Unfortunately, Justin didn't get what he was hoping for, but at least he tried. And at number nine, Jamie Lynn Spears. Since the Free Britney movement started to get mainstream attention, fans have been wondering why her famous sister, Jamie Lynn, never publicly did or said anything to support her while under the conservatorship. Britney has egged on her fans, telling them that she hates everyone in her family, including her sister, Jamie Lynn. After Jamie Lynn started getting hate, she responded, quote, Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform, but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag, and I'll support her long after. But Britney has been clapping back. In one caption, she wrote, quote, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservatorship killed my dreams. Jamie Lynn has been keeping a low profile ever since. And at number 9, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is a beloved self-help guru with a huge following globally, so it came as a shock to the world when BuzzFeed published a year-long investigation into Robbins in 2019 that revealed a number of his former female fans and employees accused him of inappropriate behavior and advances. BuzzFeed spoke to two former followers turned employees who signed statements swearing under oath that they felt that he had sexually harassed them, pursuing the women even after they had turned him down. Two other women also said they were expected to work alone in his hotel room with him even while he was naked. Another woman claimed she was fired after sleeping with him. These allegations reportedly stem from incidents in the 90s until now. He's also been accused of berating his female followers and not believing them when they speak out against their husbands. Robbins responded to all this by saying the BuzzFeed investigation was quote, intended to disparage me personally, my family, my life's work, and the work of my fans. At number 9, Nikita Dragon. Even though we are still caught in the midst of a global pandemic, it is still advised for people to wear masks, social distance, and some people still break these rules. This is the case with beauty YouTuber Nikita Dragon as she was caught and exposed for going maskless in an elevator while she was in Miami for a New Year's Eve party last year. The influencer was exposed on TikTok where fans posted a video of their encounter with her. The fans asked for a photo with her before she was caught saying that people would get mad at her for not wearing a mask. Well, they did and she was dragged for it. Lately, so many celebrities have been getting dragged for not being good role models for their fans during this time and Nikita was one of them. So not only did she get 
exposed for attending a party during a pandemic, but also for not wearing a mask. This all went down in Florida, and though there are no rules in place, it is still advised to wear your mask for your safety and for the protection of others. And at number eight, Scott Disick. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker are the hottest new couple, and they're showing the world how much they love each other. Since the pair got together, they've been partaking in tons and tons of PDA. But things got awkward when Scott was exposed for trashing Courtney's PDA to none other than her ex-boyfriend, Eunice Benjima. Apparently Scott DM'd Eunice, Courtney's other ex, and wrote, quote, Yo, is this chick okay? Bro, like, what is this? In the middle of Italy? Clearly trying to initiate a conversation where they both essentially trash Courtney. But to everyone's surprise, even though it seems that Courtney and Eunice ended things pretty badly, Eunice did not trash Courtney, and he responded, quote, Doesn't matter to me as long as she's happy. P.S. I ain't your bro. Eunice then shared a screenshot of the whole conversation publicly, so it made things even more awkward between Scott and Courtney. And at number eight, Brian Singer. Director Brian Singer has faced multiple accusations of being inappropriate with cast members on his sets. The first one dates back to 1997. Specifically, there have been instances of this happening with Singer was first sued by parents of an extra who acted on the set of the movie Apt Pupil. These suits were for filming the boys and doing illegal things to them. He was sued by an anonymous person in 2014 for sexual harm, but that suit was later dropped. There have even been accusations that he forced himself on people in the past. These accusations were so bad against him at one point that he was fired from directing the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. The Atlantic also published four stories of alleged abuse by Singer against four different men. He responded that it was all a hit piece and was not true. At number eight, David Dobrik. YouTuber and former Viner David Dobrik got caught in a massive scandal on the platform that pretty much destroyed his career last year. He was once considered by many as one of YouTube's clean YouTubers, someone who doesn't really have much drama on the platform, but last year, all of that changed. He was really popular on the platform, having gained over 9 million subscribers, and he's had some success in showbiz as well, as he's been cast as a judge and host on a few game shows as well. However, last year, David's popularity fell, and his Praise turned into scrutiny as people started to come forward with allegations against David. Former members of David's YouTube friend group called The Vlog Squad came forward calling David out for bullying and creating a toxic environment as well as orchestrating pranks that resulted in one friend getting hurt and a former fan came forward naming a Vlog Squad member as the person who hurt them while they were under the influence and also exposed David for filming that part of what happened. Last year he lost a lot of sponsors as well as the company that he recently started. In at number 7, Kevin Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was at the center of scandal when it was exposed that his personal shopper had been stealing millions from him without Kevin knowing. Apparently, this took place over a long period of time, so the shopper was able to steal more than a million dollars worth of purchases. The personal shopper, Dylan Jason Sire, who started working for Hart in 2015, was arraigned in February on grand larceny and nine other accounts. If you're wondering what kind of things that he purchased, he apparently had over $240,000 worth of jewelry and watches, fine art, and Louis Vuitton bags in his possession. In at number seven, Chris Brown. We all should know the story of Chris Brown, as he's been accused of being physical with a number of his ex-partners. Most famously, in 2009, he attacked his girlfriend at the time, Rihanna. He eventually pled guilty, but for some reason, he still has a thriving career and collaborates with the world's hottest rappers and R&B singers. But that was his first of many allegations against him. In 2016, he was arrested after a woman claimed that he threatened her with a weapon in his home. Then in 2017, a judge granted Brown's ex-girlfriend, Karuchi Tran, a restraining order after she reported claims of physical harm and threats. Brown has faced legal trouble for multiple other fights and violent altercations as well. Since he's been involved in so many incidents, he's only commented on a few of them. After one accusation of harm from an ex-girlfriend, Brown posted online, quote, I want to make it perfectly clear, this is false and a whole lot of cap. However, he deleted that post shortly after. In at number six, Neil deGrasse Tyson. The astrophysicist was the subject of a Fox investigation after three women that worked for the company accused him of sexual misconduct. After Fox learned of the allegations, they released a statement and said that they were going to be investigating the claims and taking the necessary actions. One of these allegations was from the 1980s while Tyson was in university. The woman claimed that he forced himself on her after intoxicating her. Then one of Tyson's old assistants alleged that he touched her inappropriately while working for him, and she quit after multiple instances of it. However, after investigation was done, Tyson was able to keep his job. He told Stephen Colbert on his show, quote, for a variety of reasons, most justified, some unjustified, men accused of sexual impropriety in today's Me Too climate are presumed to be guilty by the court of public opinion. Opinion. Emotions bypass due process, people choose sides, and the social media wars begin. The women are claiming that they will still be fighting against him. And at number five, Brett Kavanaugh. 
In September of 2018, Palo Alto University professor Christine Blasey Ford came forward with an allegation against Brad Kavanaugh, who was the Supreme Court Justice nominee at the time. In her accusation, Ford stated that while in high school in the early 1980s, Kavanaugh had drunkenly touched her inappropriately at a party and even took off her clothes without consent. After this gained traction, another accusation came forward from a woman who studied with Kavanaugh at Yale University. Apparently while he was drunk, he exposed himself to her at a party and tried to make her touch him. Ford and Kavanaugh were called to testify in a government hearing on the matter, and this hearing actually sided with Kavanaugh on the incident. He was later confirmed to the Supreme Court. And number seven, Bush Hartman. The artist known for creating popular Nickelodeon shows like Fairly Odd Parents, Tough Puppy, and Danny Phantom was exposed last year after Twitter users accused him of plagiarism. Bush Hartman, known for his unique cartoon drawings, had been doing commission drawings for fans for the last little while, and when completed, sometimes he would post some of them on social media to show off what he was creating. This was his way of promoting his commission services, but last year, one of his commission posts was used to exposed the artist for plagiarism. One fan noticed that one of the drawings that he did of a character from the anime Attack on Titan looked a little too familiar until they realized that Butch had plagiarized this drawing. Butch profited off the stolen artwork of another artist and sold this piece for a hefty price. The commission pieces that Butch does sells for upwards of $200, so to find out that someone is profiting so much off stolen work is a huge no-no. This scandal exposed even more dirt on Butch as it was revealed that this wasn't the first time that Butch has been caught copying other art for commissions. Now that he's been exposed, Butch's credibility as an artist took a very big hit and it's not looking good for him. At number six, James Franco. Back in 2014, actor James Franco tried sliding into a fan's DMs only to find out that she was actually 17 years old. When their DM conversation was leaked, people honestly thought it was fake, but it turns out that it was 100% real and James even owned up to his actions. All of this happened when James met a girl visiting New York City as an early 18th birthday present. James met her at an autograph signing outside one of his Broadway performances. The two took pictures together and she tagged him, which obviously led him to finding her Instagram and DMing her. The two talked for a bit and the fan even asked to see his ID to make sure that it was really him. After their conversation continued, James asked for her number, her age, and relationship status and whether or not he should have booked a hotel room for the both of them. Nothing ever ended up happening between them, but the fan ended up exposing their conversation online and James faced mild backlash after he admitted to his mistakes, but after he admitted to his mistakes, he walked away from the situation still pretty much intact. At number five, Lil Nas X. Rapper Lil Nas X was in the news a lot last year because of the backlash he was facing from his music video for his song Montero, as well as his quote, devil shoes. A lot of people had been criticizing him for his use of satanic imagery, saying that his content was inappropriate. Well, on the other side of this drama, Lil Nas X was exposed for his content, but not because of his imagery for being offensive to people, but for having been copied from another artist. Artist. A Twitter user shared a side-by-side -side comparison of Naz's Montero music video to FKA Twig's video for her song Cellophane. Both had similar imagery of heaven and hell, as well as the artist sliding down and dancing on a pole, and so he faced backlash for having copied Twigs. Lil Nas X addressed the controversy on his social media, issuing an apology to those affected, saying that he wasn't aware of the similarities and that he has nothing but love and respect for FKA Twigs. The two artists made up and acknowledged everyone involved in the making of both Montero and Cellophane fade music videos, but Nas's exposure was just another setback that he had to deal with involving this content. And at number 6, Zayn Malik. Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid were one of the hottest couples in Hollywood during their on and off again relationship. The pair even have a child together named Kai. After her birth, the pair seemed to be committed to raising their daughter together. But after Zayn's recent altercation with Yolanda Hadid, Gigi's mother, the two have split again, this time probably for good. A source exclusively told Us Weekly that it's quote, much better that they have separated. According to this insider, quote, Gigi and Zayn had a very destructive relationship when they were together romantically. And according to the lawsuit, Zayn quote, shoved Yolanda into a dresser, causing mental anguish and physical pain after calling Yolanda an effing Dutch slut. At the time of the altercation, Gigi was not home, but she came back immediately from Paris Fashion Week to address the problem. Zayn pleaded no contest to the charges, but later said in a statement that he adamantly denied Yolanda's claims. Now the pair have split and are fighting for custody. Halfway number five, Jake Gyllenhaal. Taylor Swift just released her version of Red, which is an album she wrote back in 2012 while she was heartbroken from a breakup. At the time, fans assumed the album was about Jake Gyllenhaal, but after the release of the all too well short film, we're pretty much certain it's about him. 
In the song, Taylor is agonizing over a past relationship and singing about her heartbreak. Swift, who is now 31, dated Gyllenhaal, who is now 40, for three months in late 2010. She then channeled her emotions to make the hit album Red in 2012. Taylor also released a short film along with the new 10 minute version of the song and cast Dylan O'Brien, who is 30, and Sadie Sink, who is 19, in the All Too Well short film, which is a very similar age gap between her and Jake Gyllenhaal during their relationship. Taylor called out Jake in the line, quote, and I was never good at telling jokes, but the punchline goes, I'll get older, but your lovers stay my age. This line especially hits hard since Jake is currently dating a woman who is 16 years younger than him. In the song, she sings that Jake Gyllenhaal claimed that they might still be together if they were closer in age. And at number four, Les Moonves. Six women have accused Moonves, the chief executive officer of the CBS Corporation, of sexual harassment and assault. The New York published an investigative report that revealed the allegations. After that piece was published, six other women came forward, accusing Moonves of harassing them between the 1980s and early 2000s. After the allegations went public, CBS shares fell more than 6%. Moonves responded to the allegations by actually owning up to them and admitting that he did some of the things he was accused of. He said, quote, I recognize that there were times decades ago when I may have made some women uncomfortable by making advances. Those were mistakes and I regret them immensely. But I always understood and respected and abided by the principle that no means no. And I've never misused my position to harm or hinder anyone's career. He also confirmed that three of the encounters were true, although he did not confirm which three. He was later fired by CBS. And at number three, Sylvester Stallone. In 2018, an accuser went to the police and shared their allegations against Sylvester Stallone. The LA District Attorney spokesperson then confirmed that they were reviewing a crime that was put out against him. The accusation was first made in 2017, but was not put in front of prosecutors for about a year later. Apparently, the crime took place in the 1990s. Stallone's attorney told CNN that the actor, quote, categorically denies the allegations, adding that Stallone and the accuser had a, quote, consensual relationship in the 80s. After it was investigated, the state decided to not press charges against the actor. And number four, Drake. Drake doesn't seem to have the best luck when it comes to the ladies. He's been rejected by Nicki Minaj on multiple occasions. He briefly dated Rihanna, but that didn't work out. And he's been on the losing side of love for a while. Drake even tried DMing Mia Khalifa back in 2015, and that didn't really take off either, and she thought it was kind of cringy, actually. Mia dished about what went down in the DMs while being interviewed by CBS Miami 560. And during the interview, she was asked if any famous people had ever tried sliding into her DMs. And though she didn't give an actual name, she did say that the person's name rhymes with Rake. Not that subtle. She later said that he sent her a half-naked picture and knew that, quote, his intentions were clear. I'm assuming that they never actually spoke to each other until this point, so I'm really wondering what compelled him to drop this picture on her. I'm not the most knowledgeable on this kind of topic simply because no one's out here signing in my DMs, but for those who are familiar with unsolicited pic DMs, please tell me why this is a thing. Like, shouldn't you have just a little bit of conversation before this? Let me know. And at number four, Simon Cowell. The legendary American Idol host is known for turning everyday singers into stars, but his label Psycho was recently exposed for being toxic towards their artists. John and Edward Grimes, known in the music world as Jedward, went on a tweeting spree and spilled the beans on Simon Cowell and his record label. The pair said that Simon and his label have been taking advantage of artists for years. We were also reminded that other artists like Cher Lloyd and Rebecca Ferguson also spoke out about the bad conditions that they worked under while with Psycho. In their tweets, Jedward called the One Direction members survivors because of what they've had to endure. And at number three, Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson has been exposed for cheating on Khloe Kardashian many times over the years, and sadly, 2021 was no different. In the beginning of the year, an Instagram model revealed that she slept with Tristan while he was with Khloe. This made it the third time that Tristan was exposed for cheating. The model named Sydney Chase claimed that she slept with Tristan Thompson in January, and he claimed that he was single. But she added, quote, It happened, and then I found out that he was not single, and I cut him off. After the news went viral, she addressed it again in a TikTok where she apologized for disclosing private information, but also said she was not lying and Tristan had reached out to her multiple times. She said in the TikTok, quote, the last time we had contact besides when he messaged me after finding out about the interview, it was the day after his daughter's birthday party. Following the scandal, Chloe and Tristan broke up, but it seems that Chloe is still defending him online any chance that she gets. And at number two, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis shocked the internet when they openly revealed that they don't bathe their kids unless they are visibly dirty. They revealed this on the Armchair Expert podcast with Dak Shepard, saying they only gave their kids baths as infants when they could, quote, see dirt on them. 
Apparently, Dax agreed with the statement and responded, quote, When I had children, I also didn't wash them every day. I wasn't that parent to bathe my newborns ever. Adding that people, quote, should not be getting rid of the natural oil on your skin with a bar of soap every day. Kuna said the decision related to her poor upbringing, saying she didn't shower much as a kid and she basically turned out fine. And then number two, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx was accused of inappropriate contact with a woman in 2018. The incident took place in 2002, but was not reported until years later. The woman claimed that he hit her in the face with his genitalia after she refused his advances. According to TMZ, she went to the Las Vegas police to report the incident the week before the news broke. The case was still being investigated, although the statute of limitations for the crime expired three years after it happened. Foxx's attorney issued a statement to TMZ saying, quote, Jamie hypothetically denies that this incident ever occurred, and he will be filed filing a report with the Las Vegas Police Department against the woman for filing a false report against him. And finally, at number one, Morgan Freeman. A report by CNN from 2018 revealed that eight women made accusations against Morgan Freeman for unwanted behavior and harassment. According to the months-long investigation, the women mostly worked in production at its production company, Revelations Entertainment. One woman who was an assistant on the film, Going In Style, said she was harassed for several months. He apparently would lift up her skirt, along with other inappropriate advances. Another woman commented on Freeman, saying, quote, He did comment on our bodies. We knew that if he was coming by, not to wear any top that would show our breasts not to wear anything that would show our bottoms, meaning not wearing any clothes that were fitted. And number three, Anthony Mackie. Marvel actor Anthony Mackie, known for his role as a Falcon in the MCU, faced some internet backlash last year after an old video had resurfaced. The video in question was a clip from an old Wendy Williams interview where he was heard making sexist remarks saying that a woman's role was to quote, make daddy a sandwich. During the interview, Anthony and Wendy were having a conversation about gender roles in a relationship and Anthony's responses were exposed. Anthony also went on to defend this mentality of women serving their partners, giving an example saying, quote, so you better believe it, so you make daddy a sandwich. If I'm outside cutting the grass, bring daddy some lemonade. It's hot outside and I'm cutting all this grass. End quote. A lot of fans were taken aback by the actor's comments calling them sexist and misogynistic and resulted in canceling the actor on social media. This cancellation didn't really stick as he since bounced back with the popularity coming from the Disney Plus series Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but people still exposed him and he still faced quite a bit of backlash because of it. At number two, Coldplay. Last year, the music group Coldplay was exposed and caught under fire after Lady Gaga fans alleged that the band stole their new album concept from their mother mom. Monster. This comes after Coldplay announced their new era of music and the release of their song Higher Power. Their new theme is very neon, featuring the colors blue, pink, and purple, and they're seemingly calling it Chaotica. This sounds cool, but not very creative, as Lady Gaga fans were quick to point out the similarities between Chaotica and Gaga's 2020 album Chromatica. This album featured a very similar neon color palette and a pretty similar name. Fans have said that these artists' album aesthetics are too similar to be a coincidence. Both both Chaotica and Chromatica are essentially the artists' respective names for their own made-up planets that their albums are based on, so these similarities have fans feeling a little strange. What do you guys think? Is it a ripoff or a coincidence? And finally, at number one, James Charles. James has been finding himself in a number of scandals over the past few years, seemingly facing new drama every few months. Though in the past, there's been petty drama like that between James Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and Tati Westbrook, recently James' number one scandals have been about his inappropriate contact with fans, specifically those under the age of 18. Recently, James has been hit with lots of backlash after it was discovered that he solicited private photos from fans who turned out to be under the age of 18. James was exposed by a fan on social media where they showed off their messages and photos sent to each other over the period of time that they had been talking. This happened in late February last year, but a similar event happened just a few weeks prior to this incident, after another young man came forward exposing James and recounting how he and James had been having explicit conversations on Snapchat. These allegations are similar to others that he's faced in the past, so people are really starting to get angry with James, and the fact that he seems to walk away from these scandals all the time. And finally, number one, Army Hammer. Army Hammer is definitely the celebrity that's been exposed the worst in 2021, and it's looking like his career is over, because the allegations against him aren't really something that you can come back from. Hammer shot to fame in his roles in Call Me By Your Name and The Social Network. He was also born into incredible wealth, and his family runs many massive billion dollar companies. 
But that all came crashing down after multiple women accused him of disturbing allegations, with many expressing that he had scary fetishes and many times he would take things way too far with women while intimate with them. There were even rumors that he could be a cannibal. As a result of the string of allegations, Armia stepped away from an upcoming film with Jennifer Lopez called Shotgun Wedding, as well any project that he was due to be part of has cut him. And with the seriousness of these allegations, he could very well even be getting jail time for his actions. Oh, 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 o